Hi, I'm Christy Hughes, back with another Daily Intention. And if you saw yesterday's, I like that today's kind of ties back into it. I was talking yesterday about acknowledgement, and today's word is planning. And what I wrote back in 2019 about planning was that I used to love planning. I found excuses to throw parties at the house so I could drink socially. I would make meticulous to-do lists and elaborate project plans at work so that I could avoid sitting down and actually doing tasks that needed to be done in the moment. I carefully crafted meal plans and workout routines, but threw in the towel as soon as I missed a day or two. I see now that my planning was just a form of control and that I was trying to play puppet master in a world with no strings. Letting go of character defects like control has almost made me fearful or maybe complacent when it comes to planning. I try to be present and live according to God's will, so planning feels a little bit like self-will, but it does serve a purpose. I made a meal plan yesterday so that I had a grocery list and some go-to recipes to take the stress out of cooking this week. I'll meet my friend later so that we can plan out our summer vacation. Just because we say one day at a time in recovery doesn't mean we have to be afraid to live life. It is okay to see a positive future for yourself. What do you have to look forward to? Fill the day with planning. And this is such a timely reminder for me because I have been in some ways coasting through this year and we're halfway through 2023 and I over the last couple of years have very much had milestones that I was trying to reach in my life and maybe we could count getting to 200 videos here and finishing out this Instagram series as a potential milestone for this year but I also have kind of shied away from planning. I planned retreats and hosted them. I planned how to write my book and publish it, and I did that. So this year maybe feels a little bit anticlimactic is the word I'm looking for. I'm not sure, but it does just feel different. This year feels different. And I found myself not planning and feeling a little bit disconnected from my life in a way because I wasn't planning for anything big. I've got things going on. I've got this. I've got YTT, which ends in November. So there are things that are happening just at a slower and more methodical pace. And maybe that's what sometimes planning looks like just one week ahead. When am I going to do my YTT training modules this week? When am I going to record my videos this week? Life will not always go according to plan by any stretch of the imagination. So we do have to be flexible and fluid, which are words that we've used throughout this series. But I do think that there is an element of planning that allows us to look forward to things. And at some point, maybe that's going to be planning my trip to Bali next May with a friend of mine. Things that I can look forward to in the future. We've been weighing out some decisions on what we want to do with our financial future, and that feels overwhelming because it feels like no matter what amount of planning we do, that we may or may not make the right decision. So it's always a work in progress. All of these things are. But regardless of what you have on your plans, I hope that you will plan it into your schedule to join me again tomorrow for another video. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single day and I will see you again soon.